to upstairs. I am going to the backyard to enjoy a cigarette, watch, uh, and listen to the EVP speaking. If he's around within a good 20, 30, 40 feet, you'll be able to hear him. If he's around. Watch and listen. I'm going out to the backyard. Enjoy. I'll be back.
see anything? I'll watch it on the replay. Maybe he went outside with me. Uh, but if it's within 20 feet of the beam, you can hear his voice. Survive. Oh, uh, it's here. <laughs> yeah, I survived. You just noticed I survived something. My neighbor came out. She's a single woman. Uh, talking to herself. <laughs> People often do that. This neighbor's pretty used to me having my little EVP and it speaks. Yeah, it has spoken to her while I hold the machine over the fence, you know. But uh, see, she's talking to herself. So I got in the house quickly <laughs> because she doesn't have an app to talk to. She's talking to voices in her head. I have real proof that there's something there, not voices in my head. By the way, sometimes these beings do send voices to one's head. Those little voices. Suppose. Suppose what? These thoughts you get in your head, they're not always yours. This is what I'm trying to say. And the voices in your head, they're not always you. Sometimes ghosts, sometimes angels, sometimes God, and sometimes just your body. Suppose what? Explain. Rain. It's a good idea. After a smoke, the throat is dry. I should have a drink. And? Oh, it wants me to end the video. Still got five minutes. I guess my uh, ghost friend wants to talk to my neighbor, huh? <laughs> you want to play with her? Let's play with her. Uh, such a cute. Uh, we'll play with her later. <laughs> well, the neighbor now speaks with herself. A very educated woman is talking to herself. She has heard enough evidence. She doesn't understand how a person like me seems to know things about her through some electronic voice. She doesn't understand that it's a being from the other world. So, she's going crazy. Will I ever explain it to her? No. <laughs> she'll, she'll have to ask. <laughs> you can just walk up to your neighbor. Excuse me. Uh, would you like... This ghost wants to talk to you. This being wants to say hello to you. I can't exactly do that. So until the neighbor gets curious enough to ask, don't butt into people's lives with your EVP information. Keep it to yourself. The info is between you and the being. Keep it that way. You'll sound like a fool anyway. Lead. That's correct. I'm leading a couple of people. Some silver Sit. Sit. I am sitting. As you can see, I'm just plot. Plot. I got a plan. I'm not gonna show my face. Carlota. You just said Carlota? Uh, these beings speak in names, not always in plain language. Google the meaning Carlota and you will understand what it just said. I know most of their words, I've been learning their language of the afterlife. Why do they speak like this? Because wa words carry power. something that you, um, you'll have to understand. Like, for example, I could say, I am happy, or I can say, gay, which means happy, one or the other. But the words used in names carry a lot more weight and a lot more power. It's scientifically proven that the human voice actually turns into electricity when it leaves White. your mouth and travels. Why? He's talking about, he's observing. But YouTube 
it's green. It's white, as you can see. Correct, it's white. Anyway, this is an app called Ghost Hunters M2. Only cost 99 cents. It is not mine. I'm not advertising it. I'm just saying if you want it, get it yourself. The app Ghost Hunters M2 for your iPhone Touch or your iPhone. And you can communicate with angels. Perhaps even God might say hello. Believe me. Test it out yourself. Some people say it's androids, machines, robots. How does it know what you're thinking? How does it know what you what? Are? Me. What? He says I'm me. I should let him speak. Okay, you speak then. Go ahead. Speak. Say. Say what you need to say. <laughs> 